I see we got two people on. How is everyone doing this evening? Gonna stream some ATS for a bit. Hey, Matt, you are now one of my moderators. So I'm heading uh, off to pick up a load. We're going to make a trip to Montana. Currently in Arizona at the moment. That I'll be getting on no power trip. Remember, you're the stormtrooper and I'm Darth Vader. <laughs> Let's see if we can fool around with this and make this load a little bit more uh, expensive than that. 80 grand. Let's see how much this thing would be. Uh, nope, that's actually less. Let's see about you. Ninety-one grand. Well, let's do that. So we got a nice little haul here: New Mexico, uh, through Colorado, through Wyoming, into uh, southern Montana. Where is our load? There it is. Whoops. That didn't go as planned. Uh, looks like we're delivering wine. So we're driving almost 1,400 miles to Montana. Here we go. One good thing about solo playing is uh, I will not have a uh, speed cap on me, so I'll be able to go... Uh, Higher than 65, as you can already see, I'm going almost 70 miles an hour. I have a feeling we're going to get much higher than that on this trip, too. You 
Yeah, if you've ever heard the songs from Sammy Hagar, I Can't Drive 55, well, my version is I Can't Drive 85. Gotta slow it down on those sharp turns though. We don't wanna flip this truck. When you uh when your truck tips over you're pretty much guaranteed that you're gonna get some type of damage to your cargo. And damage to the cargo means you uh you lose money on your haul. to figure out a way to uh, deal with bots coming into the chat. That's something that will not be allowed. Hey, we just crossed into New Mexico. Yeah, I definitely do not want bots in my chat. So you already failed in your job as moderator. You missed a bot coming in and posting stuff. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Oh, we were definitely going to bypass the, uh, the way station. Yeah, well, we're not going to have bots spamming our chat. You know, I got to give you props there. You are, <laughs> you're dead on the money with that one. They cannot hit the broad side of a Death Star. I gotta say, I'm loving not having to drive 65. And so we'll reach our destination for uh, tonight a, a lot faster than what we reached the one last night. Uh, what's up, Billy? Have to get you in on this game, man, so you come trucking with us.
Yeah, I was getting really aggravated with that haul last night. Whoops. Get the sign. I very much dig these headphones. You know, for 30 bucks, you, you couldn't go wrong with them. I mean, regular price is 69, but uh I you know, Billy here actually got me a discount on them and they were well worth the money. I'm loving that I can actually communicate with people on my computer again. And when you're inside the cab, it is really, really loud now, as opposed to uh, just hearing it through, you know, PC speakers. When you don't have a lane, make one. Yeah, if they ever go back on sale again, I would highly recommend getting a pair. Las Cruces. I have actually been to Las Cruces in real life. On I-10 eastbound in Las Cruces, they have a rest stop there with a view that will blow your mind. You're standing, I, I don't know if the mountain is the right word, but you, uh, you're you standing on top of a mountain, I guess, and you're looking down at the city and you can see a straight shot of I-10. And we did this at dusk, so uh, the city was lit up, I-10 was lit up by all the headlights from the vehicles. It was a it was a breathtaking view. I I took a photo of it with my uh, with my phone, but that really uh, didn't do it justice. Oh, I'm sure you hear it a whole lot better than me. Uh, with that type of system, but I'm good with this. Uh, I've, I've been wanting the new headset for the longest time. I just couldn't justify spending the money on it. So when this opportunity came up to get this headset for 30 bucks, I just, I couldn't pass that up. And I wouldn't be streaming at all had I not bought another headset. So I've been thinking about a stream schedule, and uh, I haven't really made up my mind yet on that, but right now the thought process is uh, like 6.30 to 8.30 weekdays, uh, obviously that being central time. Now it won't be all every weekday, but probably two three days a week and on the weekends um, probably gonna be pretty random now on Friday nights if I do stream I'll be able to stream much later of course because you know it's Friday night I would love to be able to just 
sit back and stream this on a Friday night where I can play much later. Uh, you know, chill, have a few drinks, interact with the chat. Though I more than likely will not be streaming this Friday. If I do, I'll be getting on much later because uh, I, I do have a loved one that is uh, part of the color guard for the local high school team, and I'm going to watch her perform this coming Friday. I'd kind of like to end up in Baton Rouge at some point this Saturday, if at all possible, because uh, the Mississippi River is extremely low right now, and so low to the point where uh, a sunken vessel, a wooden vessel, is uh, has been exposed. And you apparently there's some type of... Uh, little trail you can walk to that's pretty short and it brings you right to it. I think that would make a, a great video. But yeah, if I do it, it would be Saturday, preferably, because uh, I don't think Sunday is going to be an option. See, I feel like I've barely even started this haul, and we've already clocked in over 200 miles. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, I don't know if that's definitely happening Saturday, but it's it's definitely something I'm thinking about. And this Saturday would would be the perfectly ideal Saturday to do it because LSU is on a bye week this week, and the following Saturday Alabama's coming to town, and you will not be able to get anywhere near Baton Rouge with the amount of traffic that's going to be going in. Hell, I'm hoping I can find tickets for that game. I don't like LSU's chances, but they're playing good. And, I mean, it's Alabama. Who doesn't want to go watch, you know, the biggest game of the year in Tiger Stadium? Oh, look at this guy cutting into my lane. That's what you get. How do you not see this great big truck? Oop. That's what I get for paying it too much attention to the chat. Well, we have no damage to the cargo, so that's a good thing. You can take damage to your truck. You can take damage to your trailer. But you do not want to take damage to your cargo, which is that icon on the far right. When you start taking damage there, that's when you uh, you get money deducted from your haul. So 
another thing that's good about the single player option is this. You can pause the game and look at the map and see where you're at. So see, we're coming up on Albuquerque. And we're going all the way up to Montana. I feel like we should be a lot closer to Montana with only a thousand miles left, but I guess not. I'm just seeing your uh, the message you sent me uh, on Messenger about the festival video. I really appreciate that. Glad you dug it. That was definitely a fun day. Oh, that's pretty awesome of you. Thank you. I posted it to the Rougarou Festival page too, and whoever runs the page uh, loved the post. <laughs> They already announced the dates for next year, too, which is going to be, I think it was uh, pretty much the same weekend that it was this year. I forget the exact dates, but the weekend before Halloween. Oh, you're going to get wrecked. And we're still at 0%. Man, we got some action on this haul. Santa Fe, next two exits. Now, uh, we must be going up a big incline. what that is. Is that a train? Looks like a stop train. It is. I don't know if I've ever seen that in this game before. Well, the haul on last night's stream, if it was, I, I, the, the 65 thing, it was just killing me. It wasn't so much for me that it was boring, other than that. You know, well, I, if anything, I would say it was extremely eventful for you, not so much uneventful. Oh man, we were almost at 88 miles per hour. There we go, 88 miles per hour. Only for a second though. How does the quote go? When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious
when have we gotten to Colorado yet? Or how close we are to Colorado? Yeah, we still got a ways to go. Ooh, shooting stars. Two shooting stars. I have still not yet watched their uh, their new little uh, blog update on Texas with all the uh, the pace the pace the uh, space center stuff. I need to look into that. I'm really hoping we get Texas before the end of the year. I thought about getting that Coast to Coast mod, but one of the streamers I watch, uh, he's been running it for the whole time I've been watching him, and he says that it's extremely buggy. Uh, plus, most of the states, it looks like, are not... There's, there's not a lot to see in them. So, I, I'd rather just wait for, you know, the official DLCs to come out by SCS. I really, really hope that they get to put Louisiana in the game before they discontinue support for this game. It's going to really bug me that they're good. Once we do have Texas, it's the only thing that I'm going to annoy, be annoyed about is, you know, we're going to be like right there. We could, we could see Louisiana on the map, but we just can't quite get to it. I'm curious. I'm really going to be real curious to see what's going to be the last city on I-10 East, like eastbound, that they put in Texas. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be Beaumont. Of course, Orange is a very small town. It's the first one you cross into Texas from Louisiana, but it's so small, I have a feeling it's not going to be in the game. So I'm going to stick with my thought that Beaumont will be the furthest you can go on I-10 East in Texas. why they're slowing down because somebody wants to turn uh, you go right ahead uh, the way stations are coming up so we must be getting close to the border yeah I have full intentions of bypassing the way station No, probably should have took that because it's one part of the road that 
we haven't had discovered yet. I try to see as much of the game as possible. Everything they have mapped out. Uh, so, thus far, as of everything in the country that they have mapped out, I've seen like 80 and a half percent of it, meaning that I've traveled that percentage of all roads in the game. And sometimes I won't even do a haul. I will just get in my truck here and go drive to random places because they've done such a great job with creating such beautiful places that you can see in this game. I mean, why not go explore all that stuff? You're going to make me slow down, aren't you? Let's do this. Oh, yep, I hit him. I was genuinely trying not to hit them, but when you honk the horn and they don't move, that's their problem. Let's check our damage. Still 2%. I mean, 0% on the cargo, so we're still good. If you want to see a really cool station wagon, cooler than the one that we just hit in real life, go check out my new video about the Oruguru Festival. We walked by this uh, mint condition station wagon. I don't know what year it is, but it's in tremendous shape. <laughs> it's got the wood grain paneling on the sides, just like the Griswold family station wagon. It's amazing to see. That car was going to come into my lane for a minute. Okay, so we're definitely in Colorado now. Just saw a sign. We got 78 miles before we reach Denver. If you're into simulator games, there's a couple of people on Twitch that I watch. Um, one being my real-life friend, uh, who's a moderator here at my channel. Uh, his Twitch uh, channel is Magnum44. He plays uh, this game. He plays Farm Simulator. Uh, a couple of other games, too. I can't remember them all, but uh, those two for sure.
Oh, it's, uh, he's correcting me in chat. It's 44 Magnum 90. So that's 44 Magnum 90. That was gonna, that almost got ugly. All right, well, guess we have to slow down for a bit. Oh, my engine's malfunctioning. I don't think I've ever had it malfunction at 10%. Well, we're in a city now. This looks like Peblo. We're going to have to check for a, uh, a mechanic. Oh, no, we're almost in Denver already. Sheesh. Goodness. Man, we just passed a, uh, a mechanic shop in Colorado Springs. Uh, we'll keep going till I find another one close to the, uh, the freeway. I don't want to get off in Denver and go on. It's too far off the interstate. Let's see. I might not have a choice. Looks like we're pretty, uh, pretty far away from any other close ones. So let's see. There's one here, right there. There we go. Hi, fan. How are you? Honduras. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I'm, of course, in the, uh, the old U.S. of A. How are you doing tonight? Here comes our exit. Wow, I almost tagged this guy. Happy to have you with us, fan. Hope you uh, hope you like what you see. And we're making a pit stop in Denver because I need to repair the truck. Patrick getting us 18,000 on a job. And looks like he's leveling up. Yep. Let's uh let's take a look at Patrick there. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. All right, see. That's cool. He's maxed out on high value cargo. Let's let's start leveling you up on fragile cargo. Well, here's our exit. I'm 
need to get some little trinkets to decorate the inside of my truck with. You guys hang out at the light. I'm going to keep going. Let's do this. I don't feel like turning this thing around. So we'll just go in and do our repair real quick. Yeah, 10 grand, that's not too bad. up a little better. Well, you know I'm all about the magnets. Well, there's a gas station right here. We can don't really need gas to finish this trip, but since we're right here, let's just go ahead and get some. We could probably U-turn in this parking lot as well. I need a GoPro to put on the hood of my truck here. Yep, perfect. Perfect place for a U-turn. All right, someone fire up the Willie Nelson on the road again. Yeah, you were a, a photo taking machine that night. Oops, are we running a red light? I guess we are. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do it again. Red lights just get in the way. This might be a good place for a, uh, a screenshot and get a nice uh, thumbnail to go with the video. And a 
there's downtown Denver over there in the distance. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. This might be a good place. Yeah, let's let's go into photo mode real quick. See if we can get a nice screenshot here. Oh yeah, look at that. That that'll work. Let's get higher up so we can see that building over there. Maybe not that high up. Right. Oh, yeah, look, look at that. Right there. That's a nice shot. Okay. Let's see if we can get some better light on it. I think, like, right there, I'm digging that. Nice. All right, let's continue on the journey. We got to get on that exit right there. Yeah, we don't want to go back towards Colorado Springs. So once we get to 500 miles, uh, we'll probably have roughly about 30 minutes of real time left on this haul. Uh, the general rule of thumb is every 500 miles you travel in the game is about 30 minutes of real time. Now, of course, that will vary depending on your speed and if you divert off the haul or, you know, for any reason. But again, it's general rule of thumb. Gonna try and get some Phasmophobia in, and maybe some Left 4 Dead 2 in sometime this week. Now this will probably be the main game I stream for the most part. I, I'm gonna mix it up every now and then with other games as well. And of course, me being a big horror fan and it being October, I gotta get some horror games in, you know, before Halloween. No way am I pulling over. We're going 94 miles an hour. Let's check our, uh, okay. 0% damage still in the cargo. We're doing great. We're going to be in Wyoming pretty soon. 58 miles to Cheyenne. Cheyenne, of course, being the state capital of Wyoming.
Alright, here come the way stations, so the, uh, the border should be coming up. Not stopping. Oh, who's making us some money? Philip. Philip's making us fifteen thousand. Good job, Philip. Get to Cheyenne, we'll see uh, the city on our right. And there it is, downtown Cheyenne. Good thing that cop didn't look and see how fast I'm going. Four hundred miles to go. I think we're going to get through Wyoming pretty quick. The tiny river. But every time I go to Montana, I get this old country music song pops in my head from uh, Dan Seals and Marie Osmond, and it's called Meet Me in Montana. So many travel related songs I could play while streaming this game. But, you know, copyright and all that stuff. It's just not possible. So we started this stream uh, about an hour ago, so you could pretty much say we started doing this haul about an hour ago. And we're already down to 330, 35 miles left, so that's actually really good time. Even though we, uh, we stopped for repairs and got up some gas. You can hit these really high speeds and not have to slow down. It, it definitely helps. Oh, 
Uh oh, engine trouble. Should have bought a Toyota. Alright, 300 miles to go. So again, I'm still working out a possible streaming schedule. And I'm leaning towards two, three nights a week on weeknights. Uh, probably like 6.30 to 8.30 Central Time. Uh, it'll be longer, of course, on Friday nights. But I will not be on for sure this Friday night. Uh, if I do, it'll be much later than 6.30. Got to be at least halfway through Wyoming by now. Buffalo, that's that's still Wyoming, I believe. Seeing that little speed limit uh, keep climbing up. Are we going to reach a hundred? We have one hundred miles per hour. some trailer damage there. Slowed us down a little bit. Still 0% on the cargo damage. That's the main thing. You don't have your own lane, make one. Yeah, it was a horrible time to finally hit 100 miles per hour. We were going into a sharp curve and have no choice but to slow down.
Oof. Almost ate one of those little side barriers. See, I'm thinking we should be in Montana by now. If not, we are extremely close. Not yet, but we are we are close. Really close to the destination too. We are under two hundred miles. That was bad. That was bad. We probably got some cargo damage now. 2%. Yep, that's not good. So, because of me wanting to sightsee, we're going to lose some money on our haul. I hate when I get so close and then I take cargo damage. That is extremely annoying. Well, you're just going to have to malfunction. Unless there's another repair station that is right along the highway. I am not stopping. Say so don't text and drive, don't sightsee and drive. Oh, there we go. There's the Welcome to Montana sign. Welcome to Crow County. Crow County, Montana. five miles to go. Eighty nine miles per hour. But once again, when this baby hits eighty eight miles per hour, you're going to see some serious. Little Bighorn River.
Man, I'm going 85, and this car is about to pass me. Ha, you thought I was going to have to slow down, didn't you? Yeah, that ain't happening. I'm surprised Boris couldn't find a job for us. He's one of my best drivers. He's always bringing in money. Five miles. That looks like they've got a repair shop. Uh, oh no, we're we're gonna be bypassing it, so just have to wait. Ooh, that's that's a pretty sharp turn. We're gonna have to slow it down. I don't want to lose any more money on this. Paul, oh. whoa. <laughs> Sorry, Mustang. Shouldn't have broke. So, shouldn't have broke so hard. That's still two percent. It's not my fault. You were in my way. Don't honk your horn at me. A lot of crashes on this haul, but you know I, that's going to happen when you're traveling at the speeds that I travel. Wow, look at this big gas station. We're definitely going to go in there after we drop off the uh, the load. this guy ever gets out of our way. And that's our destination right here. see how bad we're we're gonna get docked eh, eight thousand not terrible but I don't like losing any money yeah we're definitely not going to New Mexico for 70,000. That's a ripoff. Unless we can make that. Nope. Yeah, forget that. Let's go ahead and fill in this uh, this map here while we're while we're here. Let's 
So we've got that place filled in. Let's go fill in that gas station. Might as well tank up while we're here. Truck sounding rough. I think there was a repair shop down the road. The one I was thinking about stopping at a few minutes ago. Yep, there it is. I see it on the map now. See how bad this repair is going to be. Ooh, yikes! Twenty-two, twenty-three grand. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. Let's see uh, what jobs this place has. I'm going to do one more haul. Uh, it, it end the stream around eight thirty. Yes, we want to leave the dealership. We don't want to buy a truck. We want to see what jobs you have, if any. And maybe you don't have any. So let's just go to the town view. Let's see. We're in Billings, Montana. Clovis, New Mexico. I'll... Yeah, that might be a good one to uh, to tackle. I hate to end the stream with uh, without finishing a haul. So, I don't want to pick another super long one like this one was. Five hundred and twenty-two photos downloaded, and you're gonna end up keeping like thirty of them. Yikes! That almost got ugly. Stone River. 
Where's the river? Ah, here we go. Interesting intersection. I wonder if we can make this one better. Nope. It's the only one they offer. So, let's take it. Crap, it'd help if I'd get on the right side of this stupid truck or tanker. Whoops. Man. I really need to be paying better attention tonight. Maybe I shouldn't make this haul. Ah, uh, this ain't too bad. This isn't a heavy load, so we're going to be able to hit some high speeds a, a whole lot more than what we did on that last haul. Yeah, something like that. Just made it around that corner. Let's get back on that freeway so we can rack up some serious speed here. Now it's not a heavy load, so... That's going to take forever. I'm, I'm not in the mood to be patient. Yeah. 
Yep, freeway entrance. All right, so my plan is to shut this down in about 35 minutes. Um, we probably won't be finished the, uh, the haul by then, but if it's close enough, we'll keep going. We've been pumping out a lot of content on the channel lately between videos and shorts and streams. Hope everybody's digging all of the uh, the material. I'd have to find a newer game to play as well that uh that way we can get some more people's eyes on the channel even if they don't watch just make them aware of the channel I imagine some people look at the channel name and like you know a photography channel but he's playing a game well there is going to be a rebranding of the channel and it's going to be a lot more diverse than just what a normal photography channel would be. That's my, my long-term goal anyway. I have someone working on a logo for the channel that's going to reflect that change as well. Uh, I'm extremely passionate about photography. I love it. That's why I do it. I love creating art. But I just feel like a photography-only channel is just too limiting. Uh, the only people are going to check out a photography YouTube channel are other photographers, and I just feel like that's just too small of an audience. So uh, that's why we're going to go with a rebranding of the channel, which is, of course, still going to incorporate a lot of my photography. And I'll still have like a photography playlist and, you know, record shoots, maybe even live stream shoots at some point. But uh, I don't want it to be just that. I don't know about Flight Sim. Um, I'm not opposed to it, but... From what you were telling me, the amount of hard drive space that thing requires. And I, I would want to have like the, uh, you know, the, the pilot stick or whatever it's called in order to fly the plane. It's, it's too much, you know, to invest for just one game. That's why I won't buy a steering wheel just to play this game. I just feel like it's too much of an investment for just one game. Out my way. Almost 90 gigs of memory. Yeah, that's... I mean, I've got the room for it, but it's... Just, that's that's kind of silly. I mean, and I know it's a heck of a lot more uh, realistic in terms of them... Oh, here's Wyoming. It's a lot more uh, realistic in terms of what they've done to recreate, you know, the real world than this game has been, but... I don't know.
Like, I'm, I'm not completely closed off to the idea, but it's... It's really not a high priority. Ninety-three miles an hour. Let's see how long we can keep that up for. Well, for all zero point five seconds. Now we're at ninety-two miles an hour. Off-road trail riding. Snow Runner is a fun game. I've never heard of it. I think there has to be some games with a little more excitement to them. Because while I really dig this game, it doesn't exactly lend to a lot of exciting moments. I could certainly see why most people would probably find it a bit boring. Yes, Red Dead does get a lot of attention. Why are my wipers on? There's a Spider-Man game that recently came out on Steam, and that might be a possibility, because actually I've got it on my wish list. If it ever goes on sale, I would strongly consider it. So... I like Spider-Man. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. He's one of my favorite Marvel characters. Uh, him and Captain America. I was watching another stream today and... Uh, this guy, uh, someone posted a question in this guy's chat out of who would win in a fight, Spider-Man or Batman? And that's a tough one because Batman's my favorite DC guy. Yeah, Sniper Elite could be interesting to play on here. But it would be like you and me versus NPCs. I'm not doing multiplayer. Yeah, Sniper Elite's definitely an, uh, not a bad idea. Yeah, if I can't get my friend to play uh, Phasmophobia or Left 4 Dead with me uh, this week... We could definitely look into a Sniper Elite. Well, hell, you've got Left 4 Dead as well, so... I would like to wreck some zombies this week.
Uh, get Daisy. It's an older game now, but that's essentially what Daisy is. Yeah, I like the idea of Sniper Elite, though. Definitely. I don't know if there are private servers. I, I, I don't ever remember playing in a private server. Ooh, that almost got ugly. We're gonna hear some birds chirping. Oh, it must have hit the sidewall. 1% damage. That's not why I I don't like multiplayer. I don't like multiplayer because of the trolls. You know, I just you know I I, I play games because it's to like chill and relax. I I don't need to get into an argument with a twelve year old who thinks he's you know some some serious uh, tough guy because he can hide behind the safety of a mic and a keyboard. You know, it's ridiculous. And he's acting like that because, you know, his parents aren't monitoring what he's doing. So if I walked into a if I walked into a room and I saw my kid talking to someone, another adult the way some of these kids talk to people online, <laughs> I would beat the hell out of them. Well, maybe not, but he would not beat the hell out of him. That's that's a bit extreme, but he would definitely get a weapon. I just I don't I don't need that kind of nonsense in my life. No, I much rather play games with you know people I know in a private setting where I don't have to deal with the nonsense of dealing with other people online. It's one of the reasons why I quit playing Friday the 13th. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I quit playing Dead by Daylight. I mean, Friday the 13th was going to end no matter what, because as much as I loved that game, uh, it was a bugged mess from day one, and it hardly ever got any better throughout its whole lifespan and that game's still being played online today but it's just a, a wasteland of hackers when you've got 40 Jasons running around in the same map and people are just dan doing dance parties and cursing each other out lower than dogs on the voice chat yes I'm, again you know, I don't need that in my life And Dead by Daylight wasn't quite as bad with the toxic people, but it's got its share as well. 
And I had enough of that game because they ruined Killer, in my view. So yeah, all day, every day, give me a private server with people that I know and I enjoy playing games with, and, you know, I'm content with that. And, you know, people will either want to watch that or they don't. And I certainly hope they do. <laughs> it's starting to get dark in game. I'll be switching back to first person view soon. Time for those headlights. Yeah, not taking no chances there. I don't want any damage to this cargo. I want to get my full amount. I don't remember, um, you might, is there voice chat in World of Warships? trying to remember. Yeah, if there is not voice chat, I would maybe be willing to play that game, you know, multiplayer. That would probably be the only one. Yeah, they got the little quick chat things. I remember that. Yeah, I think we use Steam chat as well. I don't remember at all there ever being voice chat in uh, World of Warships. I haven't had it installed forever because I just haven't had the want to play it. But it might be something worth looking into. Actually, Sniper Elite potentially uh, interests me more of picking that game up again over World of Warships. But I'm not. I would never uh, rule World of Warships out of the realm of possibilities. Hey Danny, how are you doing? Welcome, uh, welcome to the stream. You're playing a little American Truck Simulator here. Oh, almost rear-ended that cop. Too busy looking at the chat. <laughs> I 
I uh, hope you're doing good this evening. Just gonna drive in a haul here from Montana to New Mexico. Got a fuel tanker that we're pulling. Uh, no worries, Danny. We're happy to have you. We'll see what's going on tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I do want to get some Phasmophobia in on the stream before Halloween. Um, if I can't get that set up tomorrow, uh, we'll see. You know, I'll let you know once I, once I know something. see we got some road work going on are they gonna yep i knew somebody was gonna cut me off you're lucky you didn't get rear-ended there So we're in Colorado. We've got about 500 miles or so left. See how far we are uh, once 8.30 hits. If we're uh, we're back in Denver. That sign says Colorado Springs, so this must be Denver. Uh, kind of think I don't think I don't know if I've ever seen Denver at night. Oh wow! Look at that. How cool is that? Oh, wow. Look at the stadium. Yeah, this is definitely Denver. That stadium looks awesome. Wow. That looks so cool. Uh, she doesn't want to play Phasmophobia with me. To, um, you and I can definitely play Left 4 Dead.
Which one? Uh, Warships or Left 4 Dead? Good job, Katie, bringing us almost 25 grand dead. Katie is leveling up. Let's check Katie's stats. Hazardous cargo, excellent. Uh, I wouldn't worry about World of Warships for now, um, but you might want to give some thought to Left 4 Dead. Don't know if I'm familiar with that game. Sniper Ghost Warrior. Never heard of it. So if there's anyone watching the replay of this, uh, Danny, this is the Western Star uh, X-49, I believe is the, the make of it. But it's definitely a Western Star truck. I'm really a fan of this truck because, uh, one, I just like the way it looks, and... It's, it's got like a sleek yet rugged design to me, and I really dig that. And uh, as far as like newer, more modern trucks, uh, it's one of the best at hauling really heavy loads. So that's why I drive this truck. I do like the Peterbilts. Uh, I would like the design of the older trucks as well with like the really long hood but I don't really drive those because I feel like they obstruct your view too much and that really annoys me when I'm in driving in first person view uh, so that's why I don't really mess with those And uh, if you're interested in checking out another streamer, uh, Matthew here uh, streams on Twitch. He also streams this game occasionally. Uh, he streams uh, Farm Simulator and a few other games. Uh, we're talking about possibly streaming Sniper Elite uh, amongst other games. Uh, he is on Twitch. Matt, uh you want go ahead and uh put your twitch name in the chat yep you have my blessing Oh, I love when they just get out of my way like that.
No, we're not pulling over. We must be close to New Mexico. Because there's, uh, we've, we're at a way station. Big lag spike there. I don't know if that's going to show up on stream or not. Yeah, we're probably in New Mexico by this point. Yeah, I think we are. I kind of recognize this rock formation, even though it's uh, in silhouette right now. Yes, that's one thing, um, Matt, when we are able to talk in person, uh, I'll lay out, you know, the rules for the chat. That way, uh, I mean, and I don't expect you to be here every single time I'm streaming, you know, but when you are, uh, you'll know what to look for in terms of uh, moderating the chat. You know, it's going to be, for the most part, the same basic rules that most people have, you know. No trolling, no racism, no promoting your own uh, channels and or content, you know, things of that nature. And certainly no bots. <laughs> No, you really can't, unless you have to chat up as well, and uh, I don't really expect you to do that. I'll, I'll deal with it myself. All right, so it's 8.30. This is when I, we've reached a time where I was planning to shut down the stream, but we've got less than 200 miles so i am just going to finish this haul before uh i end the stream for the night we've actually made really really good time on this haul shooting star another one Eventually, there will be other moderators, too, not just you. I'm undecided on uh, whether or not I will allow profanity in the chat. Uh, one thing is for sure, no politics. I do not want politics anywhere in my channel at all. It's just too divisive, it's too stressful, it causes too many hard feelings. Uh, I've seen Shooting Stars several times in game. There were two earlier on the way to Montana.
right on, but uh, what I do. <laughs> I'm curious, uh, what is the ride on for? Mm. Oh, okay, yes, uh, of course not. Yeah, there is there is a delay in chat, too. But no, y you know me. I, I don't like really talking about politics in real life. So, I'm not going to discuss them on my YouTube channel either. I don't want them, those topics on my YouTube channel. This is a place for people to just come hang out and chill and have a good time. Not talk about things that just gets everyone's blood pressure up. You know, the internet is a gigantic place. Um, if you want to talk politics, there are plenty of places on the internet for people to do that. Uh, my channel will not be one of them. I express my views on politics on the one place where it actually matters, and that's the voting booth. So yeah, that's my thought on that. All right, we're getting close. One hundred miles. I've got to really think about whether or not I will allow profanity and uh, if I do to uh, what level would I allow it right now I'm leaning against no profanity either So the sun will be coming up just at the time we are finishing this haul. So uh, if Danny's still here, I'll let him take a good look at the outside of the truck in the light before uh, I end the stream. bringing us in 17,000.
<laughs> that speed limit sign said 30. <laughs> they got jokes today. the cities at night. Roswell at night is pretty cool too. Got like these uh, alien heads as uh, street lights. I'll make it a point to drive through Roswell at night at some point. Uh, not tonight. <laughs> Almost there. And the sun's starting to come up. Twenty miles. Guess we'll slow down here since our turn is right there. Oh, nope, not this light. I knew I was going to catch that stupid train. Anything to make me stop. Where's the train at? One mile. And I get stopped by a train. All right, let's go.
How did we do? What's our damage report? That's uh, not too bad. Zero damage on the uh, cargo, so that makes me happy. I love their uh, their General Mills knockoff, Global Mills. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait. You have reached your destination. Another successful delivery. That's a nice haul right there, 154,000, but uh, I think we're done for the night. Uh, Danny, if you're still here, this is what the outside of the truck looks like. I just thought I'd show you that real quick before we, uh, before we uh, end the stream. So, yeah, folks, that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, thanks, Matt. Thanks to everyone else who stopped by. I appreciate everyone's support. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, share it. Like it. You know, anything you do helps. Uh, if you're watching on the replay, you know, appreciate you doing that as well. And uh, that is it for every tonight, everyone. Uh, thanks again. And in the meantime, drive safely.